kids welcome to today's maths class and today we'll do symmetry and patterns let's revisit does the dotted line divide each of the following figure into two similar halves if the figure is symmetrical put the tick otherwise cross here the dotted line is dividing in into two equal half that means they are symmetrical so we'll put tick here the parts are not equal so we'll cross it like this clear so this way you can identify whether the dotted line is dividing it to two equal part or not next symmetry you have studied about the symmetry in your previous class let's quickly review it with the help of the given activity take a sheet of paper and fold it in form center Open a at and put the drop of ink on the line of the fold. Fold the sheet again, press the sheet two or three times and open it again. So you will see a figure which is symmetrical about the line of fold. The line of fold that divide the figure into two equal half is called the line of symmetry. So what we'll do? We'll take a sheet of paper and fold it along the center and then we'll put the drop of ink here and fold it and press it like this the figure will get that will be symmetrical because when we press it to dono side mein ek jaisa hoga you will see a figure which is symmetrical about the line of fold this figure will get will be symmetrical along this line this line is called the line of symmetry the figure on the left hand side of the line of symmetry is the same as the figure on the right hand side in other words one side of the figure will exactly fit over its other side such figures are called symmetrical figures aise figures ko hum kehte hain symmetrical figures and the line is called line of symmetry the line of symmetry can be horizontal vertical or both look at the given example here the line of symmetry is vertical and here it is horizontal here the two line of symmetry one is vertical and one is horizontal some figure can have more than two line of symmetry like in circle and equilateral triangle some figure does not have line of symmetry like this clear next is mind boosters draw a line of symmetry in following like so we can draw like this this is the line of symmetry clear Next is practice corner ten point one. Is the dotted line is line of symmetry in each of the following? Here, yes. This dotted line is line of symmetry. So we'll take it. So you have to practice all the questions of this exercise. Next is reflection. Stand in front of mirror and look at it. you will see your image in it this is your mirror image or reflection reflection are seen in many things like mirror glass water bodies etc when you stand near a lake you see your reflection in it means whenever you are standing near water you'll see your reflection in water you can also see the reflection of trees and other nearby things in the lake but imagine in the reflection is flipped around like here this is the figure and this is mirror and this is how the image look like this is object this is mirror and this is how the reflection look like it's a flip around the size of the object and its reflection is always the same but the side is changed the left become right and right become left next is practice corner 10.2 mark the tick for the figure that are example of reflection so here this is the example of reflection so we'll take it because when we see its image in the mirror it will look like this clear next is patterns look at the picture below there are shapes designed repeated in certain manner here the shapes are repeated in certain manner and making a pattern tile pattern and pattern in nature 
pattern is regularly repeated arrangement of color, shape, design, line, etc. on the surface. Observe the pattern given below and complete them. Here, first one smiley, then this line is straight and this like this, then again smiley like this and the next one. like this and then the pattern will get repeated. Like this and then like this. So first we'll have to observe the pattern and then we'll see what pattern is following and accordingly we'll do that. So this is the pattern following here. Clear? Next is number pattern. Arrangement of number which has mathematical relationship is known as number pattern. A specific rule is assigned to do each pattern. For example, continue the pattern 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Here the simple rule, the next number is obtained by adding 2 to the previous number. 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 2, 7 like this. If we add 2 to the previous number, we will get the next number. So that is the pattern following here. So next number 9 plus 2 that is 11. Then 11 plus 2 13. Like this the pattern will follow. Next is practice corner 10.3. Complete the pattern. Here first flower, then this, then this flower and then fan like shape. Then like this, so, then again flower. So this is the pattern following here. Clear? Next is coding and decoding. While writing the secret message code based on patterns are often used. One simple code is to represent each letter of the alphabet by a number. Here, each letter of alphabet is represented by a particular number like A for 1, B2, C3, D4. By using this code, we can write different code message. Like here, we have written 25, 15, 21. 25, that represents letter Y. 15 O 21 U So like this we can decode the message and the message is you are genius Clear? Next is practice corner 10.4 Read the message using the first code above So here 13 number 13 is for M. 5 E. Again 5 E. 20 T. Meet. Then 13 again M. Then 5 Meet B. Then for 9, I, 14, N, meet me in, for 16, P, A, for 18, R, K. So the message is meet me in the park. This is how you can decode the message. Next is aesthetic and art integration. Punnu the peacock loved to keep the surrounding neat and tidy. So he has put up a notice. Look at the box below that has alphabet of number in each block. Take the alphabet from only the block with the even number. Ascending order. 
write them in notice box below and find out what Punnu has written. So what we'll do? Take the alphabet from only the block with the even number. Ascending order means we have to start from the smallest even number. So here, which one is the smallest? 16. So 16 is the smallest even number here. So we'll start with it. So first is K. Like this, we'll write the alphabet and decode the message. Clear? Next is multiple choice questions. Take the correct option. Which of the following figure is not symmetrical about dotted line? This one. So A is the correct option. Clear? So here we end the chapter. I hope you understand it well. Now you have to practice it. Thank you.